Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slack is Gaming, bringing you the next matchup in the Fighter Pass tournament. So, again, real quick, in case you're new, yes, I always got to go over the rules in case there are there are new people that do stumble on it. So, uh, I want to let you guys know the rules real quick. Um, let's see. So, uh, you get one vote per person, and the way to vote is down in the comments by simply typing the name of one of the two characters in today's matchup. And the two characters in today's matchup you see at the very end of the title of the video, or I'll just tell you, um, today's matchup is Vault Boy from the Fallout series taking on Palico, the little cat kind of helper thing from the Monster Hunter series. And I'll jump into that matchup in a second. But uh, again, vote down in the comments by simply typing one of the two names that you'd rather see as DLC. And if for some reason you really like both characters and you would want to see both of them, you can vote for both. That is fine. But again, one vote per person. Uh, anyway, it's a tournament. Uh, each day I upload a matchup. And, you know, winner and loser move on throughout the tournament until we end up getting an ultimate winner of the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, just a way to kind of gauge a little bit of interest from the community to see who they'd rather have uh in uh, Smash Ultimate as DLC. So uh, with that kind of out of the way, um, we got to go over the results, and uh, that is another thing. Voting only stays open for one week, so you only get one week to uh, get your votes in. Otherwise, after that, they don't count. So uh, the one week thing is just to keep the tournament moving. So anyway, we got to go over the results from last week, well, last Saturday, which was matchup. I don't remember what number, but uh, it was Scorpion taking on Raiden, both from the Mortal Kombat series. So Mortal Kombat's getting a win anyway. And uh, who ended up winning this? Um, I personally voted Raiden only because I thought his play style might fit a bit better, but have no problem if Scorpion were to get in. So here's the votes, and um, it wasn't that close, honestly. Scorpion ended up winning 38 votes. Hopefully my face cam's not in the way. Scorpion ended up winning 38 votes to just 16 for Raiden. So Scorpion gets to move on to the next round. So congrats to Scorpion. You get to face Sora. Good luck. But, uh, so Raiden, like I did I say it's a double elimination tournament? So character has to lose twice before they're officially eliminated. Which means if you lose, you drop to the loser bracket. So Raiden loses. Raiden's in the loser bracket. Raiden will be facing Dante coming up actually sometime next week. So, uh, looks like what? Um, hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th okay, so it looks like Thursday that matchup will come up, but we'll get to that on Thursday. Anyway, today's matchup is, uh, like I said, Vault Boy from the Fallout series taking on Palico, the little monster, <laughs> the little monster, the little cat from the Monster Hunter series, so uh, let's uh, let's see how this goes, alright? So let me start off with Vault Boy. Now, Vault Boy is kind of a strange one, like first of all, how would Vault Boy work? And before I get into that, I do want to say that there is, um, there's, I guess, what, documentation, there's evidence, there we go, there's evidence online, you can look this up, Nintendo and Bethesda have at least talked about potentially having some sort of representation in Smash Bros, or talked about Smash Bros in the past. So, I wouldn't think this one would be, like, out of left field, but in this, in a way, it kind of would be, especially if it was Vault Boy, so he's kind of like the... <laughs> he's kind of like the uh, the face of the... He's like the mascot of the series, right? But he's not an actual character. Because in the games, you create your own character. And then you kind of go through this open world. Uh, can play through the story. Fallout 76 didn't really have a story. It's just kind of wander around, do whatever. But, um, yeah. So, uh, one way that I really thought would be cool to uh, make... to How Vault Boy would work, for moveset-wise, is in Fallout, you have these special... I guess we'll call them perks. And, you know, the perks let you... Um, and you get the perks by, like, leveling up, and then you can add points to them. So you can end up, like, carrying more weight. You can heal faster. You can find better loot and, you know, stuff that helps you throughout the game. And I thought that would be kind of cool. So think of Shulk's Neutral B, where he can end up choosing um, Smash. Uh, he can jump higher. Uh, he's got, what, four or five different ones you could choose from. And I thought something like that would be really cool. You know, a little special wheel would pop up, and you could choose one, uh, and you could break it down to uh, maybe he uh, becomes a heavier kind of character. Maybe puts on uh, that Vault Boy, or Vault Boy, <laughs> he puts on like the Fallout armor. Well, everybody knows how iconic that looks, so maybe you could 
put that on and he becomes a bit of a heavier character or maybe you know he becomes like a lightweight and you can move around faster jumping stuff like that you know i think it'd be kind of cool think of shulk's neutral b and i thought that'd be pretty cool and then uh you got all sorts of potential weapons you could use from the fallout franchise into his move set um potentially maybe like the final smash would be what the the fat boy or um what is it actually called? He's got like a nuke launcher, and I thought that would be kind of cool. Get a little cartoonish vibe uh, with a nuke launcher and, you know, something like that. I thought that would be kind of interesting to see how that would work. And plus, the um, radiation plays a big factor into the Fallout games, and I thought that would be kind of cool. Maybe he has a move where he can infect, um, you know, an opponent for, you know, just a short set amount of time where they take damage over time. So you hit him with you know, an infected weapon or whatever it might be. And, you know, for the next couple seconds, they're going to take continuous damage, even if you're not the one attacking them. So it's like you, it's like a poison effect, if that makes sense. Get hit by something, you can run away, but you'll con this person will continue to take damage over time. That I, I hope that made sense. But, you know, I think Vault Boy actually has a lot of cool potential to him as a character, and if he happened, that'd be pretty awesome, honestly. Um, it's a character that people know. People, I think, would be okay with, ultimately. And I think people would kind of gravitate towards that character in a way. Just something, you know, out of left field, but not out of left field. It's like, all right, it makes sense, but we're not thinking about it kind of thing. So, I think, you know, Volt Boy, I think, has a, is in a unique spot. So, he's kind of a character that I, I kind of like, but... Not that I'm expecting by any means. But uh, let's move on to Vault Boy's opponent, Palico. Now, last week, um, was it last week? Or whenever Palico's first matchup, I totally just mistitled it. I called him Calico with a C instead of a P at the beginning of his name. So that was kind of embarrassing. But uh, so Monster Hunter is a series, right? Capcom and Nintendo work very well together. They always have Monster Hunter sells very well. Monster Hunter World came out... Wow, was that a year ago? Was that beginning of 2018? And now we're beginning of 2019. So Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter franchise in general sells extremely well. Big time franchise. We did end up getting Rathalos as a assist trophy slash kind of boss sort of character. And if... Honestly, I was a little bit shocked that we didn't get a Monster Hunter playable character, you know, for third party. And you, I guess you could kind of chalk that up to, okay, well... There's not really one certain set in stone kind of face of the franchise, although you could lean a bit more towards the uh, the Monster Hunter character from Marvel vs. Capcom, because I think that's kind of the same reoccurring character. So you could use that character, but um, shifting back over to Palico here. So Palico is like this little, um, it, I guess it's kind of like a little Monster Hunter, I don't know, friend, helper kind of thing in itself. I think it like help um they can help you like buff your attack or they can actually do their own attacks or something so um I, I, in terms of how they would work um I'm not too sure I'd need a little help with that um I I haven't played Monster Hunter really at all so I'm not too you know I, I just I guess I'm not too well versed in how the character would work but I kind of I don't know I just envision if Monster Hunter as a franchise, were to get a playable rep in Smash Bros, I'd view it as one of the hunters. But I put Palico in this tournament because I kind of thought it was something that you're not thinking of, but it could definitely happen. And I'm pretty sure these Palicos are kind of like a mainstay of the series. They're like, they've been in quite a bit of games, if not every game. I'm not sure. Again, never played it, so I could be wrong. But, um, Plus, they're just adorable, right? And that would... I think that itself would be very... I think that would just sell DLC, right? You get something adorable, somebody pops up on... Or this would pop up during, like, a trailer or something, and you go, what is that? And then it gives you, like, the little, I don't know, cute face. It's got the big little cat eyes, and you're just like, oh, that's so cute. People would buy that. Come on. Let's face it. And then, plus, you can customize them. Different sort of outfits uh, for all the Palicos you could you know, just color swaps. I think uh, that's a got some big potential as well. So I think in terms of a character that nobody's talking about, this is a good one that 
still has a maybe a bit of a chance. But again, if Monster Hunter were to get a playable rep, especially DLC, I I don't know. I just have a hard time envisioning Palico working. It, you know, being a DLC, I I just I'd see I just rather see um, a hunter from Monster Hunter. I think that would just make way more sense. So. I guess that's just my opinion, but uh, if you guys want Palico, go ahead and vote for him. So I think uh, there, there's a few characters in this tournament that nobody's really talking about, but if it happens, don't be surprised kind of thing. I think Vault Boy, Palico, both these characters, honestly, are kind of very under the radar, but have potential. So uh, let me get to the voting. So who am I going to vote for for this one? Um, again, I've never really played Monster Hunter series, any of the games. Uh, so I don't have an attachment, but I've played Fallout quite a bit. I really enjoyed it. And the more I think of the possibilities and the potential of moveset for this character could have, and the character would actually be Vault Boy himself, um, I, I, I like the idea of the play style. And uh, so my, my vote's Fallout. Fallout. Well, yeah, Fallout. My vote is for Vault Boy. That's what I'm going for, so... Uh, the only question left is who you're going to vote for. So, again, one vote per person down in the comments. Simply type either Vault Boy or Palico. And if for some reason you absolutely want both these characters, you can vote for both. That is totally fine. But that is going to be it for this one. Uh, no matchup on Sundays. Don't, don't do these on Sundays. I do Spirit Board Sundays instead. So, that'll be for Sunday, obviously. And then, uh, the f matchup for Monday. Oh, boy. This one's going to be a dandy. Geolite. <laughs> this is an actual matchup. Geolite from the Medio series. Sakura has worked on the series. Taking on Fortnite Default Jonesy. Yeah, that's a matchup. Look forward to that one for Monday. But then we'll get the results of uh, Dragonborn from Skyrim taking on Chrono from Chrono Trigger. So that should be interesting. Anyway, that is going to be it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as usual. And hopefully, we catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.